there. I'm back in Salt Lake City and I'm gonna explain why, but first, since today I'm riding a LibTech snowboard, the first of our Lib Loft collab snowboards, the Rocket is a short and wide, camber dominant, stubby, something, something, something. Ah, I really like it in low incline tree congested powder zones. So let's take this board to the trees. <laughs> Yeah! Let's look at this on a map. You see, right now, we're about right here in between Dilly Dally Alley and... What is that? Okay, actually, we're not right here at all, forget that. We are right here in between Dilly Dally Alley and White Pine. X marks the spot. And this is the grove of trees that you just saw me riding through. But there's a lot more to this map than just right here because this place is huge. Seven thousand skiable acres. There's two reasons that I've always wanted to visit Powder Mountain and that's why I've been here for the last four weeks. First, the size of it, it's so big that there's just no one around. So it's totally cool. You might be in it now. Okay, so right when I say there's no one around, there's someone around. But it was only one person. Look, there's no one here. I don't even know if there's anyone behind me. There's only two people on the lift in front of me. And I guess there is one guy behind me, but there's just no one here. It just feels like the easiest breaths you will ever take. That was your moment of zen. The size of this place just means that there's a lot of space to spread everyone out. The other thing is that most everyone in Utah lives around Salt Lake City right here. And there's a lot of ski resorts here and here and here and here and all over the place in this part of the state. But Powder Mountain is all the way up here in Eden. And a lot of people just don't want to make this drive north. I'm pulling up to Powder Mountain right now and it took one hour and 11 minutes from Salt Lake City. This all just means that it's a really fun place to go snowboarding and I won't name any names, but there's several very successful people from the surf and snow industries who have houses here. It's just a really good kept secret and no one's gonna get mad at me for spoiling it because everyone knows it's good. People just don't wanna make the drive from Salt Lake. And do you see that snow? Honey, Tomorrow's gonna be good. So what am I doing in Utah driving back and forth between Salt Lake City and Powder Mountain all the time? I'm celebrating 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. How did I get here? I did it by reading books. Just follow me for one second. See, a long time ago I read this book and it caused me to ask myself two questions. First, that book made me ask myself the question, why do I need money? Second, it made me ask the question, why do I want money? I need money for things like rent and food, but I want money for things like surfboards and travel. Basically, I think that you need money to survive and you want money so that you can have a life. This is why surfers become things like lawyers, mechanics, and salespeople so that they can work to make money to buy the things and experiences they want, like me, surfboards, and travel. But what if you could eliminate your need for money or at least make yourself need less of it because your work and your interests flowed together like some sort of a symbiosis? And that's where this book comes into play. It was written by a guy who used to make videos about wine. And I thought to myself, why can't I do that about surfboards? I figured I could create an educational resource about how surfboards work that I never had. I could get my surfing life paid for because I'd never have to pay for surfboards again. And I'd be able to earn income by selling sponsorships and 
advertising to brands like a fin subscription company or a surf shop. This book has been the most productive read of my entire shred show career on YouTube because it showed me how the media works and how the media creates the news that we watch and read. And I was able to use the tools and strategies in this book to get featured on Surfer Magazine for the first time, which I believe led to their subsequent coverage of me in 2013. Because of this, I was able to get a huge boost in subscribers and it made it very difficult for anyone to compete with me because I began with such a big audience. It also got me widely recognized as the innovator of this type of surfboard video and I was able to double down on that by being featured so prominently on Surfline in 2014. Basically, this book helped me create a big barrier between myself, Shred Show, and anyone else who tried to come behind me creating the type of surfboard video that I was making. Now, the point is that you do not have to read these three books, but I strongly believe that you should read something. Everyone should, because reading books changes your life. We're gonna put these in the box. This book taught me why things spread on the internet and challenged me to make the sort of videos that would spread and reach audience on their own. And because of this, I've never spent a single cent on advertising or promotion. This hard to find book showed me how to work with sponsors and advertisers who respect the community who watches my videos. And reading that book, Gonzo Marketing also convinced me to never let Google put pre-roll ads in front of my videos because since I hate watching ads before the videos I wanna watch on YouTube, why should I make you watch those ads. The main point is that the things that I have read are what have given me the opportunity to make these types of videos. Making these videos has also let me pursue new interests like snowboarding and it's given me the opportunity to spend so much time at a place like this, a snow resort that my snowboarding friends have been hyping for years. I brought this box here today to add some powder mountain gear to before I send it to one of you who wants it. And I'll be sure to throw in some other goodies as well like two promo codes that will give you any two pairs of Sanooks that you want. So here's what I wanna know in the comments down below. What is the most impactful resource for learning that you know of? Was it a book? Was it a documentary? Is it some piece of advice that a stranger gave you on an airplane? Drop a comment down below and I'll choose one of you at the end of the week to send this box to. I'll see you soon on Change the Forecast. That was it. Hey, you didn't wanna mess up what you were doing. Where are you guys from? Portland Salt Lake, we were just doing that geocache just around the corner there. Well, oh, cool. The way we're dressed, you know we're not skiers. <laughs> <laughs> well, gosh, if you're ever going to start, today's the day to do it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Except that sure. if you start, I don't want that big a deal. It's not very <laughs> No, yeah. Yeah, this, I'm, I'm from San Diego. I think this is the best kept yeah. snow resort secret in all of Utah. It's the least popular. You got more room on the mountain. Yeah, it's tons. And the view's insane. It's 360 degrees from here. 